What a nice smell. What a nice smell. What a nice smell. Don't burn it, mate. You are listening to the Reggae Kitchen. Reggae Kitchen. Reggae Kitchen. Reggae Kitchen. Good evening and welcome to Reggae Kitchen, your cookery experience with a reggae beat. Live on Fusoradio.net from the Kirkstall Road Studios. Uh, today is Tuesday, 10 of February 2015. We have a special surprise for tonight's show, which I will explain shortly. The first surprise, obviously, is me, the chef, talking on the microphone. Good evening, Yuka. Good evening. And good evening, Miniman. Good evening, chef. You can enter in the kitchen because the surprise is that you are the chefs tonight. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Uh, you are in tune on the frequency of FusoRadio.net from Rome in the frequency of Brixton Heights crew here. And what we are cooking tonight, chefs? Well, tonight, uh, my Dop, we are cooking three kinds of pesto. It's a three pesto night. Wow. And we have, uh, of course, the original green pesto uh, made with basil and uh, the red pesto made with sun-dried tomatoes and lots of other ingredients and the black pesto, which is completely new to me, but is a uh, uh, pesto as well. Wow. Uh, well, pesto um, show. Best of show, yeah. So expect the, the best in uh, reggae, our regular segment of food that makes you feel good and uh, our not to be missed wine tips with uh, Yuka Pipitons. And I think it's the time to go with the next tune, Franco Monitan on the control tower. Big it up if you are in tune. Now you just digital your digital radio. And Reggae Kitchen is about music. Tonight the chef is talking and playing some music strictly down to the Fusoradio.net frequency. Check it out. I was late for a day. was trying to get to you. I couldn't reach on time. No matter how I tried. Jumped in the car. What to do? My phone had died on me. I'd never leave you there without a care. So I must apologize. I'm not selling you a lies, no. It was one of those days when everything was kind of crazy. You won't see it the same way, no. And you'll think I'm playing. Well, if you just uh, click on your digit, you are in tune uh, with the Reggae Kitchen. In full effect from London Town, here with Brixton Heights crew. On the background, Adele Arley, just a misunderstanding. Uh, selection by myself and I. Yeah, yeah. Mighty dog. Uh, so, what, 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 chef, what are the ingredients, chef? 
So pesto, the original one, the first one, you, Gigi is cooking, is chopping the basil, the main ingredients, which are olive oil, garlic, basil, pine nuts, pecorino and parmigiano, two kind of cheese. Suggestion with cooking, we put with trofie, which is a kind of pesto, uh, pasta, specialties from uh, Liguria, Genova, where pesto was born of many, course. many years ago. And uh, of course, I'm going to chop all the greenery and right now, which is basil and parsley. You can do with this kind of movement as well, which is the half moon movement. Wow. You should have the half moon, but you can do it with the knife as well. And you chop nice and finely because later they're going to go in the mortar with the pestle. And of course, we're going to use an electronic blender as well. Ay, ay, ay. Tell us a bit more about the mortars, uh, minimum. The mortar is used to blend all the ingredients to perfection by just stomping them all together and letting the flavor melt in all together and just blending in a very nice way. We're going to use lots of basil, a little bit less of um, parsley, of course, because the basil goes in two uh, kind of pesto. And uh, of I, course, can I ask you a question, chef? Go ahead. So, uh, which one you? I'm, I'm gonna ask already the question that we usually ask, uh, like in the middle of the program. But w which is the best pesto? I mean, w which is for you the one that you really like? I mean, you know, out of the three that we're doing tonight. I have to be honest with you, chef. The third kind of pesto, the black pesto with black beans, I never heard about it, and uh, I've never tasted. So I'm just gonna compare the two, uh, green one and red one. And my favorite is absolutely the uh, the green one because I love pine nuts pine well, nuts and you you can which one lovely. you like the red the green or the black pesto well tonight i'm very very excited about the black pesto because uh, you know it's a new variety contemporary cooking different but the original one this one that gigi is showing now the original recipe from uh, let's say Northeast of Italy is the northwest. Northwest, yeah, <laughs> sorry, is the, I'm a bit confused with left and right. There's too much east. smell of basil in the kitchen. And too many greeneries, as um, a Miniman was saying. Uh, well, guys, I think we can uh, listen to uh, the next tune uh, while uh, Mr. Uh, Gigi is chopping. Obviously, Franco Monica uh, on the control tower uh, for everybody tonight. So. You ready to fight? Well, all right. Worries, ah, Babylon, you catch up in our worries. Big shots goes out in our worries down to ah, South London, Brixton Way. Do all the Magacho, all the capitals. Yap in Tak, Yap in Tabek, you'll be lava. Call the food and fire yet, but no me cash them in a deep trap. So from the last down to the bass, I feel I don't need nada. Them of the people in the bandish know the system. I feel stop. I say, Yap in Tabil, Mr. Babylon, a box. I can't take it. No more, me not go cool and feel like fun. Poor people, they rising up tax. So I have fire burn everything to the max. Hey, yo, you them can't go school because they have to pay the school fees. And father can't get no work because they retire him from the factories. Now the youth, them end up on the road with the gun, them loading a robberies. And you know, say, one of them could have go to school and become a athlete. But Babylon don't want to get to you, them rise up and make it. That's why they give them the jokes and the guns and them tell them to blaze it. And then them divide the people where black and then white are them racist. You know, see how them lock up the innocent man and I free up the rapists. Me not like this. Cap in ta, cap in ta, beg you be lava. Call the food and fire yet, but no me cash them in the trap. So from the last down to the bass, I feel I don't need nada. Them of the people in the bandish know the system. I feel stop. I say cap in ta, bill, Mr. Babylon, I'm back. I can't take it no more. Me not go cool and be like fun. Poor people, they rising up time. So right now, Babylon, your system collapse. So I and I have boom up your computer, then where you're using a Wall Street. I you never help the poor people, then where I feel sleep on the concrete. You never hear Marcos, Malcolm, Mandela, Martin, till you stop to it. Poor people are suffer all around the world, not tell me about life sweet, you're mad. Things change for the better, nothing no go, sir. Babylon, no one, they get all you if you're tuning right now, this is Reggae Kitchen on the frequency of fusoradio.net. 
So the youth them strap in our with machine and Gappy ranks carpenter big south goes out Big South. Big shout goes out down to the Brixton Way. And we are here making three different kind of pesto. Gigi, I know you want to say a lot of things about uh, all the ingredients that we are using, and actually, it's really easy to make. And yeah, Gigi. So, yeah, everything we're making, of course, is raw. Um, I'm doing the garlic right now. Um, I'm just pressing the garlic with a knife so it just cuts open from its skin and then I'm going ahead to peel it from its skin and take off the central bit the central bit which how, how uh, the chef Mighty Dog told us another time takes out the bitter bit the bitter part of the garlic so you show you, your bread shouldn't smell that bad afterwards yes, that's right and uh, of course it's very important to do it with your hands and the knife and to crush it because by crushing the garlic you release the particular substance which is very good for you well it's quite interesting to see then uh, you know how we're cooking there's no really uh, a real cook involved like the all raw ingredients well, the pasta is going to be cooked. Yeah, the pasta is going to be cooked. But I'm talking about <laughs> the pesto. This is uh, wha what you're doing I at the moment. There's too many herbs in the kitchen. Uh, Parsley, basil. Actually, there's a very strong smell of basil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, Franco, no, no. Coffee? What? Si. Espresso? Double espresso? Okay. It's Just to remind you that we have always our Franco Monitor on the control tower playing this lovely music, reggae style uh, selection 2004-2015 under our ears as they say on the background ja rock style of jackie mito i'm very interested tonight because you know i love also parmigiano and pecorino and you know yeah this, we're gonna know, have lots really of good. cheese lots of cheese but now i would like to concentrate on garlic because as i say yeah. it's very good for you isn't it right yuka yeah foods they make you feel good as i'm saying food not foods Garlic is tonight from allu Alumium sativum, commonly known as garlic, in a species of the onion genus Allium. With a history of human use of over 7,000 years, garlic is native to Central Asia and has long been a staple in the Mediterranean region, as well as frequent seasoning in Asia, Africa and Europe. It was known to ancient Egyptian and has been used for both culinary and medical purposes. Garlic has been used as both food and medicine in many cultures for thousands of years, dating at least as far as back when the Giza pyramids were built. Garlic is still grow in Egypt, but the Syrian variety is the most esteemed now. Of all the use them garlic uh, has been done and for many conditions it can help uh, uh, for parasites respiratory problems poor digestion and low energy it was consumed quite a lot by ancient greek and roman especially soldiers and sailors the garlic strengthens the immune system as well as help to fight chest infection cause and congestion because contain a high level of iodine, which makes uh, it very effective treatment for hyperthyroid condition. Also, is a great source of vitamin B6, which is needed for the healthy immune system and the efficient growth of new cells in the body. And vitamin B6 can also assist with mood swings and improve your cheery disposition. Also, it regulates blood sugar as it enhances the level of insulin in the blood i perfect. should say perfect food is very very healthy for you maybe not easy to eat it raw but uh, it can cure a flu you know i don't know if you ever try if you go a flu in the evening you eat a raw garlic maybe mixed with donne it make a bit better the morning after you thank you fine. dr uh, yuka pipitone uh, this this segment that he usually does is, is you know it looks like some really 
good tips and not only wine tips but medical tips it sounds like you know being at the doctor but I yeah like we, are, we are <laughs> the, not. the herbs doctors are we <laughs> we're a little herb doctor so i'm washing my hand uh, as usual uh, because uh, mighty doc say that you need to wash your hands very Gigi, often i will inter different can i interrupt you right now of franco monitor is doing the sign uh, we're gonna play the first tune only cook with tiger bow yeah <laughs> And don't forget, later on, uh, Yuka Pipitone number one <laughs> is going to do the wine tips and, uh, you know, recommend two really good wines. This is Reggae Kitchen if you just click on, yeah? Fusoradio.net, you can click also on there and check it out. We are filling the pot with water to cook our lovely pasta with three different kinds of pasta. You are in tune with the Reggae Kitchen on the frequency of Fusoradio.net. Really nice tune from Oli Cook, Target Bam, new album 2014. And Gigi, what are you doing? Tell me, explain. I'm grating the second cheese, the Parmesan cheese, uh, which is Parmigiano Reggiano, as you can see. And uh, I've grated the pecorino cheese, as you can see, it was a big piece before, and now it's left only a little bit with a generous portion of Parmigiano Reggiano and the same amount of, generous, of generosity with the pecorino cheese. Yeah. So, next step. I'm gonna use this pestle and mortar just for demonstration purpose. We're gonna do a little bit of the classic um, pesto in the in the mortar. Oh and yes. Of course, you add all the ingredients together: garlic, basil, pine nuts, a bit of olive oil, and a generous amount of parmigiano reggiano and pecorino you don't see Gigi but I can see Yuka going up and down uh, checking the video obviously just to remind you you can check the video what Gigi is doing on uh, YouTube uh, we're gonna give you the link when we're gonna post 
the you know the podcast on fuzuradio.net in fact you can also listen to us if you don't have time on the 10 of february you can listen to us on a- anytime you want you know you can check on fuzuradio.net and Gigi, how's the mortar is is, is it going Look, good it's or? going yellow already the okay. ideal color for the pesto would be a, a, le- a pale green a green going toward the yellow and the white of course the basil is a very strong green dark right. green when it's wet but the pesto is going to go light green and uh, it's going to get its consistency of course if i use only the pestle and mortar it's going to take a long time but we're going to use an electric blender in a second so we can be quicker and actually do it in an hour the water is on the po- on the hob now so the water is getting warmer and one important tip when you're making your own green pesto is to use the same amount of parmigiano cheese and pecorino uh, to get a, a balanced flavor oh yes and you know carlette you wanted to say something or what two kind of cheese the pinus the basil the garlic the oil you just stomp it with this stone uh, Pester and, and mortar. Pester and mortar, yeah. You just stomp it and that's it. And then if you are in the era of technology, you can use a blender to make it quicker. And that's it. You boil your pasta. Nice, Easy nice and quick and very, and very, very raw, actually, no? We like raw stuff in general, no? Gigi. Yeah, we did fish raw. And if we can do fish raw, we can do anything, really. Yes. We can do meat raw. We can do vegetables, of course. And the one, one important thing of raw food... Uh, well everybody knows but just as a reminder it keeps uh, its vitamins and uh, and nutrients uh, in a better way than when you cook it okay exactly. next tune uh, dry island a new tune uptown downtown Hail his majesty and pride is the last the eye the end of time burn out never man all and if you just digit this is reggae kitchen okay. i say up down 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 round in them streets, here's such a fire the young in them streets. Up down 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 round in them streets, here's such a fire the young in them streets. Up down 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 round in them streets. Shut up, I had a youth life, no sweet. Up, down, 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 round in them streets. Be a shut up, I had a youth life, no sweet. No loose move, dance up, a grass, the man, no tech yard. Straight up, that the whole parliament are proud. But we are stick up in them, a corruption at large. Kill off, get to you, show political brawl. Then show on the media, want it, ten gone. Them said that at the way of it, keep the place calm. And I pray the you, why jungle bust pan. And bust off your head before. Cops get deployed. Dreadful same thing in a Kingston town. Police and bad boys in a big showdown. Gunshot a ring up on rounds and rounds. After dark shop block up only gangsters out. In a big long trench coat a bleach pump house. No wrong turn off best you know your road. Got them youths and no love skin, no teeth, no joke. Miss the Wally, you get blind off a thick gun smoke. I say up, down, 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 round in them streets. Now get caught up in a them animosities If them not show love, then what them think we gonna pray A praise to the brave, weak shall fall at your feet With militants, see me eyes up the red, gold and green Won't be fooled by the lies that politicians speak Most promises only last for a week After that, your whole family are grief Cause them not known factories When we're investors Boys get the youth to pick up the Winchesters Tribal warfare, can't be a bus fear Parliament boy, them if they get out here He's like a curse step on Jaja Earth Minimum wage gone down and tax step on high alert That's why them can't stop the looting and the shooting Rest up our right now, I said Up down, 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 round in them streets Here's such a fire, the youth life not sweet Up down and downtown Three Island New music on uh, Reggae Kitchen And we are doing Pesto tonight Gigi uh, talking Italian to Carletto 
What's going on, yeah, Gigi? Yeah, it's direction. They are technical term. It's pass Sorry. me the metallic <laughs> thing. Pass me the metallic bit because I'm putting these things inside the, uh, the walnuts. Uh, they are not just these things. They are the walnuts for the for the black pesto. They will go together with some basil. Of course, with some garlic. Generous amount of garlic. With some cheese because the cheese goes everywhere in these dishes and of course with some black beans uh, we will give the black flavor flavor oh the yes black color this needs to be drained please yuka <laughs> of, course, be of, course. of assistance uh, you have to say yes drain please yes chef come on uh, i'm also saying please uh, uh, i can't believe it this assistant chef is not it's not, it's not good it's not you know you don't i understand your frustration now chef yeah, you don't i do understand like, like you know when i was a comic you don't get it like that anymore it's crazy anyway on your frequency we are here on a reggae kitchen the beautiful kitchen down to kickstart road in uh, london town or whatever you think it is road yes is there Franco Marital on the control tower. We are doing a green pesto, a red pesto, and a black pesto, which is a hit tonight between uh, everybody here. And um, you know, um, really nice music tonight. Uh, you know, we had a lot of new music, a lot of uh, female singers. Um, and um, Gigi, you want to say something else? You know, what yeah, you do, just what you doing? I just show for the for our YouTube follower the consistency of the green pesto is going to be green and yellowish this is all sticky and nice to the mortar this is the black pesto which we now will do with the blender and we're going to add some olive oil as well the water is boiling so we're just waiting for that to get to temperature for three people four people are doing a half uh, um, 500 grams of trophy yeah? uh, half a kilo a whole packet which will be hopefully enough for the three greedy pigs of us um, and uh, i would recommend to boil at least two liters of water i would recommend to do uh, one uh, pack of pasta at least for four persons because they may normal people just not hungry enough like us and uh, yeah obviously you've been you know uh, working all day and uh, you're an animal and obviously for you you could eat 250 grams by yourself but exactly. that's another story and if you just digit right now you are on reggae kitchen on the frequency of fuzoradio.net uh, jackie mito the mediator on the background uh, i think i can go with the next tune and then we'll see how the black pesto comes out chef what, what do you think chef yeah parsley parsley black pesto very interesting ingredient an alternative to the classic uh, um, pesto made with basil right uh, next tune is um, a really nice uh, artist from new york who was born in london um, i played a lot of british artists uh, during the program tonight <laughs> His name is Alpheus. Strictly 2000, 2014 and 15 music. Look in the mirror. Gigi, you're right? Perfectly fine. Carlo? Very, very well. Gigi, very exciting. Respect the reflection. For it's your.
very noisy down to the reggae kitchen uh, chef Gigi is using the blender as you uh, can hear and it's, yeah and it's crazy I'm, uh, I'm torturing the red pesto guys <laughs> I'm, I'm literally torturing the red pesto with all its ingredients making a hell of a noise but I'm confident I'm confident it's gonna taste nice this is what it looks like for now and it's all right. Things, but I'm, I'm sure Chef Mighty Dop is going to be proud of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud, and uh, you know, this is this is real cooking. So you know, that's how it goes. You know, you see, you can hear the noise, you can hear the noise of the knife, of the blender, everything. You know, all done in real time here. Yeah. Yeah. No nice. messing about. All fresh ingredients cooked from raw and just put together with love and passion from me and Yuka. Well, in just an hour, you can do many things. That's what we're trying to show in, in Reggae Kitchen. <laughs> and also, you know, oh, even if you so know nice. a chef and make the <laughs> a lot of noise, you can still do it. And pesto is such an easy thing that many people, you know, just thinking, you know, I'm going to go to the supermarket and buy uh, pesto because it's so easy but it's so easy to do it it's, it's, it tastes yeah. much better the only the only problem that the plug is really far from the from the camera and you can't really see Gigi but Gigi is gonna show us uh, uh, the lovely three different kind of pesto yeah but we have two witnesses here you can my dog so yeah, they, they can they tell nice. you that I'm not cheating well, let's go ahead with the next show then, <laughs> while Gigi is blending all my kitchen. And one more time for the Reggae Kitchen, we have a new chef tonight cooking uh, all the kind of pesto, red pesto, black pesto and the original pesto. Well, next tune. Next tune, Franco Monito, always tonight, you know, it's very, you know, this, this smell of different herbs is, is crazy, it's crazy tonight. In tune with Reggae Kitchen, Kingston Town. Tell me that shit be a reach, no delay What a journey for your touch Can't wait another day I feel see you in a Kingston town tonight if you just check your digit now you are in frequency with reggae kitchen fuzoradio.net yeah. kingston town toyin uh, which reminds me to a song of alborosi uh, kingston town with the same title 
Gigi, what are you doing? You're still blending? What are you doing? Look, yeah, I still got some blending to do. This is what black pesto looks for now. Oh, it looks amazing. It looks pretty greenish. It not looks really, green, of course. Really well, it's just the name, Yuka. It's just the name. It's not going to be black. Come on. This is both. This is reddish and green, and this is green with the. Yeah. Very nice. With a bit black flavor. This is more yellowish. This is the natural one. This is the classic one done with pester and mortar with no aid at all from technology. I'm sure it's gonna taste the best. I've seen other pesto around, you know, in the supermarket. I've seen like coriander and lime or, or rocket pesto, like any kind. Yeah, actually, you can do. I mean, you know, um, I think that, you know, pesto is one thing done in the mortar. There's a lot of other. other uh, uh, culture that they use the mortar you know to make a base for sauces or you know for uh, raw um, um, things to spread or some bread you know it's, it's different you know pesto can be um, um, pesto is only one name from um, from Genova and they invented pesto and then you know everybody called pesto whatever it is you know that looks like pesto but it's not pesto pesto is only Basically, it's only the original, you know, the Genoese pesto, you know, which is made with the pineapples from Pisa, the basil from Camogli, which is a little town near Genova, and it's small leaf, and it's the best, you know, with olive oil from Liguria, garlic from Liguria, you know. So let's be strict about this, even if we cook in three kinds of it. The pesto is only one, and it's got an history, as he just briefly said. And you can you can check it out because you know history as it history of a culture and Genoa is well, you know a city you know that live from centuries on the sea uh, with the basil with, you know with the coast and the Mediterranean history. Gigi, so what check do you think? It out. Well, yeah, as you said, the pesto is one, but of course from Sicily we have the red pesto, yeah, which is Calabria. made with tomatoes. To be exact. It's from Calabria, from Sicily, anyway, from from South Italy. South, southwest Italy, southwest. Um, as I said, I'm curious about the, 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 black, the black pesto and I challenge you guys and uh, our listeners to have a look at the history of the black pesto, where it comes from. Okay, I got two questions for you guys before the background music finish. So, uh, we, what is your uh, favorite pasta dish, Gigi? My favorite pasta dish, be, be very quick. Of all time, is uh, pasta carbonara because my dad makes it in an amazing way. It's uh, okay. pasta with egg, pancetta, and parsley. You I, could, I could eat every day pasta with tomato sauce, simple. Okay. Um, did you ever kiss a lady with a very heavy garlic breath? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Yes, you did, Gigi? Happened to me as well. Right. Uh, next time uh, you have to stay very far from myself. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but we love garlic. It's so good for you that we no, love it's, garlic. It's really good. And Franco Morin, then next tune, what are you going to play, Franco? Oh, ah, Nomads, right. One and a two and a three and a four. Happily moving on the dance. Reggae kitchen, yeah? If you think you are in the 1969, you are not. With this music, 2015, a new production. No man, life of party. Splash out to me to fake 
This is real time cooking with our two young guys um, and you should thank me because I said you are <laughs> very young. 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 Yeah, yeah. You can Miniman uh, doing free kind of pesto. He's putting the salt in the water. We are very close to eat our pasta. Knocking on 40 minutes of program, uh, 20 minutes and we are done. Eh? I mean, Gigi is so quick, no? Would you very think? quick, very quick the show and very quick to make this three pesto. Of course, using the blender, it takes much less to, to blend all together. And I have to say that I had a peak, I had a taste of the black pesto and these surprising. Well, very good. I'm putting the pasta on. As, as you can see, we use this trophia, which is a pasta from Genova, to keep the uh, tradition. And uh, it's around 10 minutes boiling. But you can use, you know, any kind of short pasta, I should say, with pesto or maybe fusilli. Yeah, well, you know, the, 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 the usual one is trenette, which is like a flat spaghetti larger than, than linguine or trofie. Trenette Paradiso with uh, green beans and potato, which is the real, uh, um, you know, the real ingredients that you use with pesto traditionally in uh, Liguria. Very nice, very nice. Are you going to show the pot? Okay, good. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Just remember the pasta, because here, I mean, who is not Italian? Uh, it may put the pasta with just a little bit of water and the no, pasta no, may no, surface. It to be the pasta needs to be completely covered with water and there is a, a lovely white foam usually, on top. Yeah, usually it's like um, if you put 200 grams, it needs, uh, 250 grams it needs to have you know, 800 grams of water, 500 grams it needs to have a liter and two of water, so, you know. So, you know. Two liters of water. Two liters of water, yeah. One, two, it depends. Plenty, the, of water, plenty, plenty of water. Plenty of water, yeah, you know. Salt first and then you put the pasta when it's boiling again. And don't don't forget the pasta, you know, on the cooking. So how long are you gonna cook the pasta for? Ten minutes? It's at ten minutes, so around eight minutes we're gonna check. Okay. Very good. Gigi, can I have a pre taste of all the pesto just to have a taste of Parmigiano cheese. Okay, thanks. Um really nice. It's pecorino, careful, pecorino. Yeah, pecorino is, is, you got two main varieties of this pecorino, which is like a parmigiano, a parmesan cheese, but it's more maybe full of flavor, uh, more aged, I think. And you can have the Sardinian one, and you can have the Roman one. This one are the most famous one. And I, I, I guess the Sardinian one is the strongest. This pecorino is lovely. Jack Mito always tonight as our background music with something else. I'm gonna go with the next tune. Franco Monitor I'll choose this tune which is a very uh, new artist from Britain, Shy FX, Soon Come.
Shy FX soon come on the frequency of a reggae kitchen. We are doing three different kinds of pesto. Gigi. There we go. Red pesto. Green pesto. Classic pesto. And a little bit of black pesto. Now it's, it's more black, isn't it, Yuk? What do you yeah, say? Yeah, it is. It's, it's more black. Yeah, it's more, it's more black. black. We're going to put it in three different dishes with the pasta and we're going to taste them all. That's it, you're done. Yeah. Ingredients. Ingredients, we again, use please. walnuts. I'll, I'll say them all. Uh, for the original pesto, of course, olive oil for all the three pestos, garlic, basil, pine nuts, pecorino and parmigiano cheese. For the red pesto, we use garlic, basil, sun-dried tomatoes, pine nuts, pecorino and chili, which we're going to add in the end. And for the back pesto, we use garlic, uh, black beans cooked, uh, which you can find in tins, basil, walnuts and parsley. You just pull it out pull it all of the ingredients in the blender blend it for a couple of minutes with a lot of oil and that's it and then you go your first and that's it how <laughs> uh, um, how is the, uh, the description of carlo it's really really quick and really easy uh, i don't really think it's very easy but you know it's easier than other recipe what do you think Gigi? that we don't do any complicated stuff here in reggae kitchen i want to show you the chili pepper how i'm because I am you, feeling for, you forgot the chili pepper. You forgot. because i forgot yeah that's that's true i forgot but the good thing about blending things together is that you don't need any sort of order in your preparation you can just put everything all together or if you forget something just add it in the end and blend it together as you can see i'm taking off the seeds of the chili because there is the spiciest part chop it finely in stripes and then i'm gonna add it in the red pesto because they are red and blend it together for one more minute and then we are ready when the pasta is ready we are ready okay so Franco Manuel said another tune and then we check the pasta and we will see how, we, how you know if it's ready or not because I'm starving man I'm starving <laughs> And tonight a lot of a lot a lot of music. The Kirsty uh, Lynch project uh, Love Came With You, JJ Soul. Lynch project Love came uh, with you JJ Soul this is a singer uh, really really new good music We are playing all sorts tonight on the frequency of fusoradio.net I found in your eyes I see Africa through your smile when you And, and, and so, chef, we are ready. We are, we're there. 
I mean, the pasta is ready. What do you think? As soon as the pasta is ready to cook, to take out of the pan, we're gonna put everything in a dish so and he, serve he, it together. I'm Franco Monitor was reminding me that um, we have to do the wine tip. So, what are the lovely wines that you recommend, Yuka, tonight? As the pasta is almost ready, we recommend as red wine a Barbera, which is a red Italian wine grape variety that was the third most planted red grape variety in Italy, known for deep color, low tannins and high level of acid. When young, the wine offers a very intense aroma of fresh red and blackberries. In the lightest version, notes of cherries, raspberries and blueberries, and with notes of blackberry and black cherries in wines made of more ripe grapes. Many producers employ the use of toasted oak barrels, which provide for increasing complexity, aging potential, and hints of vanilla notes. Gavi di Vag, Gavi, Say again, Gavi di Gavi is a famous white wine from Piedmont, Italy, made exclusively from the Cortese grape, a variety which has a heritage dating back to the 16th, uh, 17th century. This is a wine that reflects its territory. It is noted for its bone drying character and crisp, flinty and fresh acidity coming from the mineral rich soil of the area. Bouquet is particularly floral, offering delicate aromas, okay, okay. Sorry, reminiscence sorry. of white flower, lemon, green apples, sorry, and sorry, honey. Sorry, but very nice. I was hearing the steam from uh, Gigi microphone. The pasta is ready. I'm, I'm looking at here, plating up. Very nice. Very nice. Gigi. I yeah, yeah, the pasta add. is nice and al dente, of course. We don't like pasta overcooked in Italy, and uh, that's not how it should be eaten. Pasta should be all, always a little bit hard, also because when you, when you mix it with the um, condiments, of course, it, it takes a bit of cooking. So I'm gonna do now the three kinds of pesto with the pasta. I put a little bit on the base of the plates because we are serving all together in the plates you put it on top like this and then you do a lot of blending you can add cheese and olive oil um, as you please if you like them more you just put more cheese and uh, and olive oil of course i'm gonna do that because yeah, it's are really before. doing it in a very old school way yeah, we are uh, greedy pigs that's how i've been taught and uh, okay. that's that's just I'm, I'm sure you're proud of my old school style yeah, very much. So, more, oh, more, pesto, some more pesto, olive oil. Put Campari, put a little bit of Campari. No, Yuka, it's Campari! No, 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 it's olive oil, it's olive oil. So, okay, that's the first batch. Gigi, while you mixing the others, yeah? I'm gonna play a tune and then... Great, and then yeah. we're gonna come back with tasting. Yeah, man. Great. This is another tune from Spain, unbelievably, yeah, called Rocksteady. The group is called By the Rivers. Check it out. Reggae Kitchen. Loaded and ready, yeah Let me jump the queue tonight 
see Gigi what kind of music they make in Spain, huh? Very European, this selection. Yeah, yeah, very nice. By the rivers, rock steady in frequency with the frequency, the best reggae kitchen frequency in the world, the reggae kitchen. Fusoradio.net, we are ready. I can see Gigi already, you know, showing... Showing off. You're say. showing off. Explain, so, Gigi, explain look, and we eat. This is uh, pasta with traditional pesto. I put a little bit of pine nuts on top, just as a garnish. And of course, to give more flavor, give it to the chef, give it to Dario. Try it first, chef. This is the red pesto with sun dried tomatoes and a little bit of chili. Uh, it's gonna be very spicy and rich of full flavor. I'm gonna try this. And you, you're gonna try that. And last but not least, the black pesto, which very is nice. uh, a mighty dope invention. This, nice. this, this is the chef invention and I'm gonna taste this wow. in diretta, live and directly. This is nice man, this reminds my grandmother man. No, nice. Mm, the green pesto is nice. good. The green pesto is good, black pesto is lovely. Let me the, taste the, the, the red the one. Red is amazing. One. Sorry, very chilly, eh, the red ah, one. Ah, chilly it is. Mm. Let me try the other one. Wow. A different things the the black pest, you know? It's a new recipe, a new invention, reggae kitchen. Very nice, very nice chef. Yeah, you like it, black pesto? Yeah. Yeah man. GG execute. Then you execute very well. I never executed in my life. I just thought about it. Very nice. Thank you, chef. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much to you all. And I'm going to look forward to have all of these festos uh, and to very cook nice. it in the future. Thank you, chef, for hosting the show. Impressive. And, and, uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, what can I say? Um, see you next time and uh, see you, you know, all the time on YouTube, Reggae Kitchen. Bye. Bye, Reggae Kitchen. Bye. I know any kind of food that we be eat. What's in your know any kind of food that we be eat? Matter if it's pretty, no matter if it's cheap.